Tonight at the Supreme Soviet, as it was preparing to shut down the Communist Party, I looked over at a huge oil painting of Lenin addressing his Bolshevik followers. He has had better days. NBC's Mike Betcher tonight. Morning in Red Square, where history is perfectly choreographed. First, ring the bells of St. Basil's, a symbol of the old Tsarist Russia. Then, a more somber toll rung from the Kremlin wall provides the cadence for Soviet honor guards at Lenin's tomb. The ritual neatly sorted past and present until the attempted coup. Now the order has been disturbed. Soviets are struggling with the new history. Outside Lenin's tomb, Soviet pilgrims to communism's Mecca weren't comfortable with suggestions that Lenin's mummified corpse should be buried along with communism. He is my idol, observed an old man. My entire life is connected with his. But a young man is not so devoted. Russia doesn't need him anymore, he says. He shouldn't be kept here. Soviet political scientist Laila Shepsova believes Soviets must make a quick, clean break. The ghost of Lenin is, the ghost of communism is wandering in our society yet. He is not dead yet. Not dead, but dying. Across from Moscow's Gorky Park, there are the beginnings of a mass grave for communism's icons. This new era poses many questions. Which symbols to keep and which to discard? What history to remember and what to forget? This new sculpture was to be placed at the Russian Federation building. Its symbolism likely will not be welcome now. All symbols. The all-union plan for artistic production once could not keep up with the orders for Lenin statues. Now the production line is silent. There is no demand anymore, laments one worker. Someday there will be new orders for new heroes. But these days, in communism's own workshop, communism doesn't pay. Mike Betcher, NBC News, Moscow. That's night what it is for this memorable Thursday night in the Soviet Union. I'm Tom Brokaw. Who knows what tomorrow will bring?